You know, I kind of feel bad for Azurak this generation, because on the one hand they're producing some of the best value AMD motherboards on the market, like the insanely good Pro RS, but on the other hand their boards are still burning CPUs even after several BIOS updates. Some unlucky fella even had it happen to them twice. But when they're not turning expensive pieces of silicon into a paperweight, their boards offer amazing value this generation, like the X870E Tai Chi Lite, which you can get right now for around $300 or so, making it a pretty good way of getting into X870E. So what exactly does it offer for that price? Well, how about the 24 plus 2 plus 1 phases for CPU power? Complete overkill, especially when combined with the 2 4 8 pins for CPU power and the fact that it officially supports memory at up to 8200 mega transfers per second. No one needs those kind of specs, they are there if you're really into overclocking and in theory they should allow your CPU to run faster, disregarding all of that burning business yet again. Then when we move on to PC expansion, while the one area where ASRAG are certainly behind many others is when it comes to just the pure amount of PC slots, given how you get just two here, though that's still probably one more than most average users need nowadays, so anyway, and they are both full speed gen 5 16 laners, thanks to the magic of the XA70E chipset. And when it comes to M.2 slots, you have a whopping four of them right here. The main one being Gen 5, and the other being Gen 4. And clearly, Azurek heard all my complaining and actually made a motherboard with six SATA connectors. I don't even know anyone who needs that many, but it's about a principle and not stripping away features we've had for literally years at this point. And your other internal I.O. include one classic 4-pin RGB connector and three addressable ones, as well as eight various fan connectors, which means that unless you're running some insane case, you probably have enough that you won't need to use any additional splitters. And then turning the thing around to look at the rear I.O., here we have a whopping 10 USB Type-A ports as we come to expect from ASRock. Yes, even the more budget ones like, once again, the Pro RS have 10. However, unlike that one, here only two of them are Gen 2, compared to six on that more budget model. And you still get a two Type-C USB 4 40 gigabit connectors. Add to that HDMI for integrated graphics, but no display port. Five gigabit Ethernet, which is a nice improvement if one that not many people actually need, Wi-Fi 7, and finishing us off, only two audio jacks sadly, and optical spidiv running of the ALC4082 codec. So it's clear how this thing improves in most areas compared to more budget as like motherboards, even when it comes to aesthetics. I mean, this thing will most likely fit with many more builds than something like the Pro RS, which yes, I know I can't stop talking about it and comparing everything to it, but it's for good reason. It has pretty much everything you could ever need in a motherboard at a pretty low price. This motherboard, however, has stuff that do justify the higher price, but you really have to ask yourself if you need that extra stuff. The 5 gig networking would be awesome if, for example, you have a NAS at home or have some other high networking requirements. Or hey, if you don't have a NAS and prefer to have all your storage in your PC, then those extra storage options will also be great. And hey, because of all the recent BIOS updates, your CPU probably won't melt into sludge. So if you want to get it yourself, then a link to it will be down in the video description below, where you're going to find our Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, just some Rage, Ella Ronyak, Balash Roka, Bata Karasin, and the pseudonym Mexomna and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.